My name is Ndaisaba Isaac. I'm a refugee from Democratic Republic of Congo. I work with Corans Initiative Development Organization as the executive director. Corans Initiative Development Organization started on 25th November 2021 with the fact that in Kiangwari refugees settlement, we live in poverty. And because of most learners complete their primary living examination and they fail to continue up with their studies in secondary school. Now we come up with the idea of supporting any child that is lacking the scholastic materials and lacking the school fees of continuing with studies. When we started this Corans Initiative Development Organization, we had a vision of promoting health, wealth and create a sustainable communities with a mission of empowering the youth with extraordinary skills in order to create sustainable communities. My name is Tuazin Zawadi from CISA A Block 62, Jangwai Refugee Settlement. I have just completed my primary seven last year. I had no dream of joining secondary school because my parents were not aff affordable of paying me school fees. CIA team program is supporting us with school children to continue, to continue with our studies. The career guidance program is helping me by being confident so that in the future I can be a public speaker. In CIAIDO, which is Corans Initiative Development Organization, we provide the career guidance to the learners so that they can continue up with their dreams. Because most of them, after lacking support in school, they think that that is the end. But we try to advise them by telling them the successful stories of some people who had lacked, who were like them. But we try to come up with those stories. We tell them and we also help them somewhere. I am called Baraka by Muraki. Uh, responsible for the scholarship program under current initiative development organization. Due to the fact that in most refugee camps, people have been suffering a lot uh, uh, because of education. Then uh, as we saw that uh, the way people are suffering, we went on and uh, saw those problems people are having in the villages. Then we decided to try to leak some of these uh, children to other uh, agencies who can support us to help these children to pursue their education system in secondary schools. Since most children have been dropping from schools when they complete their primary level, they have been dropping out of schools since their parents were unable to pay their school fees in the higher level of education. I am by the names of Jenna Priska from Kagome Village, Block 8, and I last completed my Primary 7 at Kina Primary School. And after completing my exams, I had no hope of joining secondary school because of the following reasons. My parents were unable to pay for me they had no enough money to afford. But for now, since I joined this organization, which is known as SIDO, we are gaining confidence. Many things we are learning, which are bringing hope to us. I learned how I can express myself in public. For now, I can be able to speak in public because of this organization. I could fear, I have that fear in. I could not trust myself, but for now, I do trust myself because of this organization. For now, I can speak in public. I can give a speech. One of the criteria that we follow is to get children from the families uh, who are unable to pay the school fees for their children meaning the families which are very poor. And uh, we also get children from single parents 
and we also get children from uh, the families whereby you find the, both of parents are not alive, whereby you can find a child is orphan, and that child is uh, automatically uh, unable to continue with the education. And we also get children from uh, the parents who are uh, automatically disabled. We have so far licked 20 students in uh, an organization called Think Humanity, and uh, I'm very sure next year, 2023, this year here, they are going to start their education in, uh, under Think Humanity, as we have already linked them to Think Humanity. My name is Bahati Chimi, and I'm the Deputy Executive Director of the Corans Initiative Development Organization, based here in the camp, Changwari Refugee Settlement in Uganda. Uh, as of SIDO, Corans Initiative Development Organization, we have gotten very many projects of which include the learning, the SIDO learning program that includes the training, entrepreneurship and leadership. Then also we have training younger kids how to read and write. These younger kids who study in government schools but cannot, cannot really accomplish with the Uganda national curriculum that is difficult to them Hence, they don't understand what the teachers give them. So we help them by interpreting for them what they don't know. By revising with them, we do whatever is, be is better for them to achieve their goals so that they remain in the mood of learning. My name is Owima Simon. I am in primary six and I attend the Sindo learning program during holidays. I have benefited much in it. I was, don't know how to read, but now I can read. I was, don't know how to write very well, but now I can write very well. I was, don't know how to, to try to talk English, but now I try. I can try even to talk to someone in English. For that, I thank the organizers for this wonderful work. My name is Atfe Bahemba. I am in P2 class. I can read and write. Because of this training, I am thanking Sido. With the training for entrepreneurial skills and leadership, we make sure that these children are able to speak public speaking and also they are able to come back and create some projects at their own homes. My name is Habineza Jean Cloud, the project manager of Collins Initiative Development Organization. I am a refugee from Kiangwari Refugee Settlement. In Collins Initiative Development Organization, we have projects that are enabling us to meet our vision. These projects are enabling us to meet this vision of self-reliant and, and creating self-reliant and sustainable communities. We have projects such as animal rearing. We began animal rearing in 2021, whereby we bought two piglets. Then after a certain period, they gave birth. After giving birth, we had to submit these piglets to the individuals in the community who can't afford themselves. Je <laughs> Through this service that we are offering to these needed people in the community, we believe after them, after producing, we are going to enable them to get income that is going to uh, help them to pay scholastic material to their, to their children. It's going to enable them to get food in their families. And at the end of all, we shall not have these children who are dropping out of school and also we shall not have food insecurity in the families. We also have another project of crop growing. 
Currently, we have managed to hire land to some needed people in, the, in this settlement. We have given land to some people and they are going to soon produce the crops. And after producing, they are going to be able to get money that is going to pay scholastic materials. Is, they are going also to reserve that food also for, for consumption at home. Jemo awando aneti numo gabo anje kwa tu jara nyabana watanda tu no ne na boni gitongo chira nyamba chara nyamje kima je kunyamba da omvite na da na rebju buzi mabgano ki mukchangwa renda da hogu hinga ho hombo ni chogitongo chara nyamje hogu hinga kugirango bingire bari yabana. Kugirango bazabone induza inani amabuku koku girago koku girago koku jana komaso. None ni choitongo rengi kuti amash. So at the end of all, in our community, we shall not have the children that are going to drop out of school, and also we shall not have insa food insecurity in the families. In the next five years to come. We are hoping to increase our impact with 85% with learners, 3,000 in both nursery and primary school, 1,000 students in secondary school, and 1,500 supporting the community members with seeds and animals for rearing, and also providing skills with community development.